guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be preparing isiewu and we are going to be preparing this isiewu in the Igbo traditional way okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section like share comment and keep watching <laughs> In introducing the ingredients, we'll start with the major ingredients. The goat head is sewu. And this is the brain. Very important for thickening the sauce. Very, very important. Crayfish. Palm oil. Fresh pepper. Seasoning cube. Ehuru seed. Some onion. Potage. Mfi and lastly potassi leaf first and foremost you have to make sure to wash the goat head properly if possible with a sponge iron sponge brush because when the goat was killed it was roasted hence the black particles everywhere so ensure to wash it properly and adequately okay And this is the tongue. We are going to soak this tongue in hot water to help us take off the scales from the tongue. Very important. So you see how white those scales are? The hot water will aid in removing them, okay? So right now we are cutting our tassel leaf. Unfortunately, I did not film when I was cutting onion because obviously we all know how to cut onion. So in short, to cut your tassel leaf very, very well, tiny if necessary. In here is the periwinkle that I'm going to use to cook the chili. So I'm just boiling it here, and I've added salt. Oh, what's up on me? So this is the tongue that was soaked in the hot water. You see how clean it is. So once your meat is properly washed, come and put it in pot. Add some pepper. Onion, crayfish, seasoning cube, and seasoning powder, salt, some black pepper. And then you stir it up a little bit. Make sure to stir it properly. And then add some water, a little bit of water. Cover it and allow it cook. Make sure not to forget the brain like I almost did. Turn the plate and the brain into foil paper. Pardon me, I don't have a foil paper, so I'll just make it with what I have. Drop it in here. Cover and allow it cook. Once the meat is halfway through boiling, I'll just put in my chili in here so that you can cook the spices in the meat to go into the chili. Then cut the seeds. it to cook for five minutes for like an extra three to five minutes so now the meat is properly boiled it's soft and properly cooked so i'll just turn off the heat and set it aside let it cool but see there is some water in here there's still a little bit of water in here so all I'll do is to take the meat out of the water and set it aside to let it cook. If you're wondering what's in here, this is rice that I'm going to use to, you know, wash this down. <laughs> So I'll put in the, this is the potash, I can, I 
then add some water to let it dissolve. out the water. Sieve the water so that the particles will not come through me. And then set this aside. Then this is the egg roll. Then I'll pound it. So in this mortar we will turn in oil to make our account paste. Then This is the brain that we cooked. So we'll go ahead and pour the brain in here to get a thick mixture. So the texture of the account will be thick. Make sure to mash the brain properly, totally, completely to have a smooth paste. Go ahead and add the ehu that I pounded, a little bit of pepper, and a pinch of salt, and mix it properly. Then this is the ishiru that you left to drain out the water. Oops. You know, this is a local delicacy, so everything has to be done locally. So, in the mortar, we just mix the paste and the meat together. As I told you all earlier, I'm cooking rice that I will use to down, you know, this sumptuous meal. Guys, can you see this Isio goodness? So now we'll turn it back into the pot, put it on the fire to heat for a little while. Still in the pot, I use in pe boiling the meat. I'll just go ahead and my apologies, guys. The place is a little bit dark. But this is the sauce from the meat, so I'll go ahead and pour a little bit of this in here. So enable me to get all my, you know, ngongo. And you go ahead and pour this into the pot. So now that the meat is 
a little bit heated up with the sauce down here enough sauce to last for rice but if the sauce is not enough for you can add a little bit more water in case you want the sauce to be more than this but the isio is ready to be served and garnished it's ready to be served so let's go serving so i'll just go ahead and put some of the potassi that i cut and stir while the heat is off then it's ready to be served let me dish it I don't have the native pot that is used to dish a shield. So I'll just make do of what, with what I have. Guys, unfortunately my battery ran out okay but I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to prepare this for yourself okay bye guys